Brighton. Well, um, that's right. As you see, today I am going to be showing or telling you about some uh, Universal, well, really Orlando, uh, money-saving tips. Because, you know, I'm, I'm like everybody else. Um, when I go, I'm on a budget. I don't go down there and just be like, Yo, here's my money. You know, no, uh, -uh. I got to plan and kind of budget because if you don't, <clears throat> you will find out real quick that um, it can get quite expensive. So, um, first off, let's talk about tickets to theme parks. Usually... If you buy them in advance, like if you buy them online and like with the Universal, you'll save literally about 20 bucks. And that's just doing it at home. And like sometimes they'll have specials. Like, and, and same thing with Disney. You'll save a little bit of money just by you know, printing it, the ticket at home or picking it up at a kiosk um, and just getting it in advance. So it's kind of like if you're going to go, you might as well save 20 bucks. Um, and like right now, currently at uh, Universal, when you buy, I think, two days for both parks, they'll give you a $50 coupon book. And which is really cool because most of them at the quick service meals at those restaurants, it's like 10% off and you get a free pearl oyster thing. And like you can go to Hard Rock and other places at City Walk. And so, I mean, it, it, there's ways to save money. So, really buy in advance, buy it online, and that's how you'll save a buck. Now, when it comes to merchandise, and this goes for Universal as well as Disney World. Okay, Universal I know more about, but like for example, um, say, for example, uh, here I'll give, I'll show you an example real quick. Okay, this right here, this is a, uh, as you can see, a cat in a hat coffee mug from the uh, Island of Adventure. Very cool, you know. Okay, like when you go into Zeus Landing, you'll see bunches of these just lined up all over the place. And they'll have it for, I think usually $16.99 or something like that. Well, sometimes if you look around, at, you'll just spot them somewhere else and they'll have them too for that same exact price, which is really good. And if you have an annual pass, like a premier annual pass or higher, you can get that discounted. So you really make a good little score you get two for one for that price um and you when you go there you have it's really impulse buying it's kind of like oh my gosh i really want this but the question you have to ask yourself is do you know can i get this you know on ebay can i get this online can i you know how easy can i get this item and if it's easier to get, don't get it. Because you want to go to, you know, Disney or Orlando where it's going to be like there's limited editions or they sell it exclusively just at the parks. So that's what I would suggest. Even if it costs a little bit more money, they will worth it. I mean, if it's something that you want and you enjoy. You just got to put your mind to thinking to not so much impulse buy. It's like you want to. It's like, you know, you want to grab it. Just 
you know, but you have to ask yourself, okay, well, do I want to spend 15 bucks on this, something I may regret later, or do I want to spend 30 bucks on this very cool limited edition type thing that, you know, so go over to this section. Um, you just have to mathematically calculate things. Um, another thing is like retailmenot.com. Okay, and sometimes like you can find good deals, but I would highly suggest read all the comments. You've got to read them to see if these other affiliate people are using them and if they were. And a lot of times with RetailMeNot.com, it's based for like overseas, like UK and things of, in Europe and in, in that nature versus America. And which the reason it's like that is because, you know, they want to cut good deals for, you know, our friends across the pond, across the ocean. So, but that, just read all the comments on RetailMeNot.com. Um, another great website is um, MouseSavers.com. Um, and we told you can just Google that, Mouse savers.com um, they are they're really really good about um, you know showing you how to do it of uh, like getting discounts and things like that they're really on top of their game um, now there's other ways as well if you're like one of those extreme coupon people you know like those crazy couponers, I would, yeah, I, I kind of, it depends on the, on the coupon, but it wouldn't hurt. I mean, you don't want to go down there with like a big, thick, like you're going grocery shopping of coupons that thick. No, that's crazy, but if you find something that's in a coupon that Universal or Disney would honor, but I, I would say do it. Why not? Um, now, another thing is with budgeting and trying to save a few dollars per se. Uh, um, the quick service meals at Universal, they're kind of. I don't know why they do it, but like some of them. Like, you can buy the same exact meal for $2 cheaper, and sometimes $3 cheaper. Like, if you go to Mel's, Dine, Mel's Diner, <laughs> about said Mel's Dine-In, I feel like it, whenever I eat there, I uh, dine. But, uh, but when you go to Mel's Diner, and you can get the exact same damn thing, the hamburger and fries, and, but if you go to, like, Universal, uh, Isles of Adventure over there they've got it at the Captain America Hero quick service place for I think eight ninety nine. you know it's the same exact thing so to me it's kind of like uh yeah I'll, I'll just save a couple bucks you know eat over there it's the same exact deal the only thing you're paying for is the atmosphere so you kind of got to do your research, and that's really how you save money. You've got to research. And, um, let me see. I was going to check this out. Oh, 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 I got a good tip, um, as well. Now, I am not a fan of, like, Walmart. I hate them. I can't stand them. I think they're a corporate evilness but honestly if you're going to Orlando and you're like okay I gotta buy my niece my nephew my brother my sister my aunt uncle da 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 and I don't have the money to be buying everybody something <laughs> believe it or not if you go to Walmart they'll have almost the identical same stuff 
there that they do at the parks and it'll probably be 40 to 50 percent cheaper than what you could get it I'm, I'm very well serious and um, like another little so try that go to a Walmart you know um, as corporate bastards anyway uh, and another thing is go to like International Boulevard right and you'll see all these little independent shops try don't go to the big ones go to the little mom and pop indie ones and you can go in there and they'll have stuff I mean it's just crazy cheap you know like you can buy a universal umbrella for like 50% of what it sells for you know um, so I would check that out I have found some really cool like coffee cups because I'm a coffee cup collector believe it or not and um, like you can find really 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 great deals there um, at those little mom and pop you know shops as well so if you if you're going to Orlando for a week and you got just a day to explore and relax and not deal with anything of uh, theme parks. I would do that. I would go on International Boulevard in Orlando, which is kind of like the main strip, and you know, look at those little off the wall places, little mom and pop business, small business owners. And you'll find some really, really great deals and stuff you, you know, it's usually stuff that's, um, you know, been like overkill or just it has 2014 or something like that, you know, and the parks are just like, they, like here, you can buy it from, you know, we don't get here, you know, we'll give it to you wholesale and then that's why they're able to sell it so cheap. So it works out. Um, other than that, um, oh, and one more last tip. Uh, go to the Orlando Tourist um, Bureau when when you get there, because when you go into there, now I I know what you're thinking. Most people, it's like. Man, that's just a trap to get me to go there. You know, a trap to get me to go to these all these other places. But if you've already, like, if you're going to Disney already, or if you're going to Universal already, go in there and ask them. Like, ask them, because that's what they're there. They're there to help the tourists and save a buck. And, and man, there's just lined up with printable or already ready-to-use coupons. And you're like, well... Okay, it's only $2, $3, but if you're there for seven days, and say that you've used $7 worth of coupons for the seven days that you were there, you know, so seven days times $7, so the math would be $49. That's pretty good. I mean, just just saying you went there and did a little research, you saved $49 that otherwise you would have just thrown away. So, um, that's really what I can tell you that's like from what I have experienced. Um, just things that I know that work personally. So, if you're going or planning on a vacation, use my tips. Maybe that'll help you. Save a dollar or two, which is always good. And, um, other than that, that's all I can think of. So, um, actually, tune in next week. I'm sorry for being so late on this, but as you can tell, I got a haircut. You know, uh, you don't you don't see the the curls but they're gone and um i am actually i don't know what the hell i'm going to do for next week but i don't know it'll be something pretty cool so other than that um 
keep it easy, keep it sleazy, and thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or any shows idea or just whatever, send me an email. Here, let me, yeah, there we go. Send me an email at this email right here, vintage toy market at yahoo.com. And uh, subscribe. Please subscribe and share all these videos. So, all right, I'm going to get out of here and I will talk to y'all later. I'll see ya. Bye.